Okay, we're going to talk about circles today, and um, we're going to pretend that's a perfect circle, even though it's not. Um, let's just go over vocabulary real quick. Um, first of all, I'm going to put this dot in the center of the circle. That's supposed to be the midpoint. So if I'm talking about radius, the radius is just from the center to the edge anywhere. Okay, it could be there, it could be here, here. It's going to be the same if that's the true center. Okay, now diameter is going across from one end to the other going through that center point. Now if you notice, the diameter, okay, if I just go right here, the diameter is two times the radius, right? So 2r is equal to your diameter. Okay, now what is circumference? Circumference is like your perimeter of your circle, okay? It's going around. Okay, and your area is how many square units it is, how much space it's taking up to cover, like if I was covering up that circle, how much that is, that's your area. So now we're gonna solve some problems. Uh, but just real quick, let's remind ourselves of formulas. Okay, circumference is equal to two pi r, or circumference is equal to pi times diameter. And area is equal to pi r squared. And remember, pi is the ratio of your circumference to your diameter. So pi is equal to your circumference like divided by your diameter. Okay, let's do some problems. Okay, you buy a circular rug with a diameter of eight feet. How much floor space will the rug cover? Well, first of all, am I talking about area or circumference? Well, it's talking about how much will the rug cover. That lets me know I'm talking about area. So my formula for area, area equals pi r squared. So I need to be able to plug those things in. So I know that that's going to be area equals 3.14 times my radius squared. Is my radius eight? No, my diameter is eight. So that means my radius has to be half of that. So my radius is four. Okay, so it's gonna be four squared. Four squared is not eight. 4 squared is 4 times 4, which is 16. So area is 3.14, because we're using 3.14 for pi, times 16. So now I'm going to just go ahead and multiply that out. 3.14 times 16. 6 times 4 is 24. Carry my 2, that's 6, 7, 8, 18. Done with that, done with that, I put my zero, 314 times one. Add it up. And I'm going through this fast because I know you know how to multiply. And then I count my decimal places. There's one, two, so it's gonna be right there. So area is equal to 50.24 what? 50.24 what? Well, I'm talking about feet, and remember it's covering it, okay? So I wanna cover this up, so that means it's square units because it's covering it, it's like square. So that's gonna be, since we know our units as feet, we're gonna say square feet. So my area is 50 and 2400 square feet. Okay, Terry ran around a circular track. The radius of the track is 200 feet. How far did Terry run? Well, am I talking about circumference or am I talking about area? Well, it says she's running around a circular track. So if she's running around it, I'm talking about my circumference. So I'm gonna use the formula. I have two, I'm sorry, not two. <laughs> I have circumference equals two pi r or circumference equals pi times diameter. So I need to figure out which one am I gonna use? Well, I'm gonna use, do I have my radius? Did they give me the radius or the diameter? 
gave me the radius, so I'm going to use that one. Okay, so I'm going to use C equals 2, and I'm going to use 3.14 for pi, times my radius is 200. Okay, well, I'm going to make it easier and say, go ahead and do the 2 times 200 first. That's C equals uh, 400 times 3.14. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply that. Um, I know that since I'm multiplying 3.14 times 400, that's going to be the same thing as 314 times 4. Okay, that's because 400 is 4 times 100, right? And then times that, 3.14. So if I did it... That's going to be 314, right? 4 times 314. So I'm just going to make this easier, okay? Um, 4 times 4 is 16. Carry my 1. That's 4, 5. And 4 times 3 is 12. So 1,256 what? Feet. Is that square feet? No, because I've got a track and she's just running around it so I'm not covering it up it's just feet around it so she went 1,256 feet around the track so my answer is 1,256 feet Sue had a circular picture that she wanted to frame if the picture's diameter was 7 and 5 tenths inches how much framing material did she need Okay, so here's my picture right here. I know that's a beautiful picture. And I need to put a frame around it. So the frame goes around a picture, right? So if I'm talking about a frame, am I talking about area or circumference? I don't want to cover up my picture. I want to put the frame around it. So if I'm talking about the frame, I'm going to talk about circumference. And again, I have circumference equals 2 pi r or circumference equals pi times diameter. So did it give me the diameter or the radius? Well, it says the diameter was seven and five tenths inches. So it gave me the diameter. So I'm gonna use the formula that has diameter in it. So I'm gonna use C equals 3.14 times 7.5 or seven and five tenths. So I'm gonna go ahead and multiply that. And when I do that, I need to remember to go back and count all my decimal places. One, two, three. So one, two, three. So that's going to be 23. And I don't need that zero because it's after a decimal. So 23 and 65 hundredths. And that's talking about inches. Now it's not square inches because I'm not covering it. It's just inches because it's linear. It goes around there. So my answer is 23 and 65 hundredths inches of framing material. Okay, Tommy wanted to hang a circular poster on his wall. If the radius of the poster is two feet, how much space will the poster take up on the wall? Okay, how much space will the poster take up? Okay, that means I'm talking about area. Okay, so the formula for area is A equals pi r squared. So that's what I'm going to use to solve this problem. So area equals, we're going to use 3.14 for pi, times radius is 2, so times 2 squared. Well, 2 squared is 2 times 2, so that's 3 and 14 hundredths times 4. So now I'm going to do 3 and 14 hundredths times 4. And I'm going to get 12 and 56 hundredths. My answer isn't just plain old 12 and 56 hundredths. What am I talking about? I've got the unit feet, but it's area, so it's square feet. So my answer is 12 and 56 hundredths square feet. Okay, I can write it like that, or I can write it like feet squared. Same thing. Okay, and let's do one more problem. Okay, Johnny wrapped a piece of string around a can of soup. He must have been bored. If the soup's diameter was four inches, how long was the string Johnny used to wrap around it? 
Maybe he was going to make like those old telephones you used with soup cans. Like, okay. So I've got my, um, I'm going to wrap this piece of string around. So I'm talking about circumference. So I have C equals 2 pi R or C equals um, pi times diameter. And it gave me the diameter, so I'm going to use that formula. So I'm going to use C equals 3.14 times 4. So I'm going to go ahead and solve that. And I know that that's 12.56 because we just did that on that last one, <laughs> that exact same thing. So, but this time it's going to be 12.56 inches, not square inches because it's just in inches. It's going to wrap around the circle. It's not covering it up. So there you go. There's some practice finding um, the circumference and area of circles.